Well, hi there, and welcome back to another episode of the All Around Growth Podcast, a show that provides insight and tools to build the life and homestead of your dreams. My name is Rob Kaiser, and I am your host. Today is Monday, May 2nd, and this is episode number 339 of the show. And because it is a Monday, we are going to do a motivational Monday show, a show that gives you some tools some resources to start your day off right, to springboard into your work week right, or to springboard into your life because there's more to life than work. We've got our we've got our financial life, we've got our physical life, we've got a life that involves personal development, we've got our family life, we've got our spiritual life, our social life, and then we also have our career. The Rudder of the Day is a book that was written by Dan Miller, author of the book 48 Days to the Work You Love, and he wrote this book because the first 60 minutes of each day will set the stage for what that day will hold. Be very careful how you start your day. In those first few minutes, you are planting the seeds for your effectiveness, influence, health, and spiritual vitality for that day. So on that note, let's pick a page at random. See where the thoughts take us today. Again, words written by Dan Miller. And I'll link to this in the show notes. We all need somebody to lean on. This comes from page 118, and it's important to find people who encourage and help us see our greatest possibilities. One of our primary needs as human beings is to feel the support of those around us. Ideally, that will mean we are nurtured and encouraged by our nuclear family first, and then an ever-widening circle of relatives, friends, teachers, etc. Without that support, we tend to be less and less willing to try new things or to go down non-traditional paths. Too frequently, the gifted artist does not hear, quote, I really think you can do it, close quote, but rather, you know, artists don't make any money or something to that effect. The guy with a critical wife stays in a job where he is, quote, underemployed, close quote, because he doesn't feel the freedom to stretch his wings. An employee who is punished for making a mistake will ultimately do the very least to maintain her job not willing to risk the disapproval again. A pastor who is constantly criticized will retreat into eating or TV watching rather than focusing on the great potential of the church. Not having someone to lean on, adding others' fear to his own, the next Bill Gates or Thomas Edison settles into the twilight world of could-have-beens and regrets. Without encouragement during the many falls, a baby would never learn to walk. Most business people, quote, fail, close quote, three to four times before they ultimately find the right business and methods for their success. I fear that the current environment of isolation, where we no longer have sidewalks and community churches, but rather cubicles and remote opened garage doors, has crippled the creativity of this generation. Without the sounding board, of and encouragement from those around us, we will gravitate toward very minimal accomplishment. Lack of support leads to minimal effectiveness. That's why one of the most important characteristics of very successful people is that they spend their time with people who are performing at the level at which they want to perform. Find those people in your own life and watch your success soar. No wonder the ongoing popularity of the 1972 song, Lean On Me. Here's the chorus. Lean on me when you're not strong and I'll be your friend. I'll help you carry on. For it won't be long till I'm going to need somebody to lean on. I'll link to the show notes or in the show notes to the complete song. 
and the lyrics and before we hit the road and ask ourselves a question for today let's take a look at a quote from the good book we're going to read from ecclesiastes chapter 4 verse 10 two are better than one because they have a good return for their work if one falls down his friend can help him up but pity the man who falls and has no one to help him up Some direction for today. Who are the two to three people in your life you can lean on? How have they helped you to become more than you would have on your own? All right, guys. First person that comes to mind. <clears throat> this is going to get a little emotional, I think. first person that comes to mind in terms of someone that I can lean on and have historically several times is my best friend Rick before cell phones were a traditional item I had a seizure behind the wheel around 2001, 2002, and I drove into a cement truck on the highway. I sheared the roof off my Subaru. I was critically injured. Rick's phone number was the only phone number I could remember. Rick got me out of a tough spot. Rick was also the one that was with me right before I entered a coma in 2013 after a backcountry adventure in Utah. Rick was the one that coordinated with my family during that time. And Rick was also the one who sent me an uplifting message. Not uplifting, but a really thought-provoking message this weekend. The timing could not have been any better or more appropriate. And when asked why, he sent that to me because there was no context or anything associated with this long message. He just wrote that he was thinking of me Second, I'm going to say that my parents, or maybe perhaps my family, are the next in line. And maybe my community, third. You know, I, I, I don't know. But those are good questions. Who are two to three people in your life that you can lean on? And think about the ways that they've helped you become more than you would have on your own. There's also another man that comes to mind. I'll just refer to him as... Curtis. Kurt. Uh, I honestly don't know much about the man, but he he was a guy that was always around when I was first coming up in these permaculture circles. I'd run into him at workshops and found that he was just a genuinely supportive person. I was attracted to him so much so that we took a course together and I asked him to mentor me. Or, yeah, accountability partners was, was the term for the course. 
excuse me. And um, and I think as we go throughout life, you know, we want to find those people that we can lean on that help us become more than we would be on our own. And it's also important for us to remember that a good goal to have something to strive for would be to be that person for others. Well, how do you do that? How do you be someone that can help others become more than they would on their own? Well, you live a balanced life. What's a balanced life? Those seven aspects I previously mentioned. Financial, physical, personal development, family, spiritual, social, career. Functioning optimally in all of those seven areas. Seven spokes in a wheel. And we distance ourselves from people who are not in alignment with that. When your vocation or your calling becomes a J-O-B, And then that J-O-B starts to become something less than what it was. There's other J-O-Bs out there. And maybe that's just the kick in the ass we need. To start. You know, that's another book that uh, that I stumbled across many years ago when I was in a similar period of transition, experiencing a similar period of transition, contemplating transition. It's a book called Start by John Acuff, a book I read prior to moving back to Ohio to getting this life started. Perhaps that's a book I should read again. If you feel a bit off in your own life, maybe that's a book you should check out. Start. Now what's unfortunate is I'm just going to upload this show because I don't have headphones with me. I don't have I don't have my normal setup and I can't do my typical multitasking upload thing today because I'm a little bit out of sorts. Um, and you'll have to tune into the show note or tune into the Telegram group for some insight why t.me slash all around growth so it's going to take some time for me to give this a secondary listen and update the show notes with everything that I have been talking about I just remembered that because like I said a little off this morning due to some upcoming changes so this episode will be released. Show notes will go. Oh, it will come later. Oh gosh, excuse me. And um, it'll be a little bit different. So there will be the bare minimum in show notes, just links to social media, links to 
leaving a review in Apple Podcasts and some links and information for you to help support the show. And if you like what you hear on the show, then I would encourage you to check out the show notes and do that. Leave a rating and review in Apple Podcasts at this point in time in May. While the podcast game is changing, that is still an effective way to help promote the show and expose new listeners to things that help improve your life. So if you find some value in this, please take a moment and do that. In addition to leaving a rating and review on Apple Podcasts, in the show notes you will also find links to all social medias that we are present on and I would encourage you to share the so share the show on your social media of choice that's how this show grows organically in large part I don't do a whole lot of promotion and I'm grateful for those of you who do this is Rob Kaiser and thank you I believe.